Hi, how are you doing today? If you're not familiar with who I am, I'm Chef Galen. I am also a reggae master. I've owned four restaurants across the country. I've also published a couple books because my heart, soul, mind, and spirit is all about healing naturally. So I also have a show um, called How to Heal Naturally. I'm the CEO of the Holistic Institute of Global Experts. So I really want to come on here today and talk to you all about anxiety and how to overcome anxiety. What that means, you know, we live in such a world of worry. It's like so paralyzing at times, right? So a lot of you all know that I am in the process of opening up a holistic retreat center, okay? And our first retreat is going to be a goddess retreat. So if you want to learn more about that, go ahead and DM me and my team and we'll get all the information to you. This is going to be so transformational, especially if you're someone who suffers from anxiety. So a lot of people don't know this, but one out of every three Americans that are adults are on some kind of antidepressant between teens and adults. That is a huge percentage. You all, we should not be living our lives like this. So in one of my books, it's called Divinely Inspired Action, Reprogramming the Subconscious Mind for a Great Purpose. I actually have a copy right here. One of my modules talks about coming uh, overcoming the worry overcoming the worry circle cycle, okay? And so that's what I wanna talk about because once we start worrying, we start feeling that anxiety, then we start feeling this anxiousness, then we start feeling hopeless. And then from there on out, life can just get really dark and really hard, okay? So I'm gonna give you some solid techniques that I have used personally and that my clients use to be able to get over these really hard um, situations, okay? And the first one that I'm going to talk about is breathing, the importance of just taking breath, okay? It's so funny, my little guy, he's a, he's a little wild one, okay? He just turned six, but we have this heart, and we, we always say, we start at the bottom of the heart, and this is kind of how we talk, and I feel like it works so much better than just breathing in and out, like, and uh, what you do is you take a heart, okay, and you breathe in, and then out. Okay, so you're going to be breathing in on half the heart and then out through your mouth on the other half. Okay, let's do it together. See, already you all are feeling like the relaxation. So am I. I've been kind of like nonstop all day today working with a bunch of clients. So I'm like, what? You know, but this is so good. So breathing is what's really important. That's actually the first way to really just start calming yourself down in a more simplistic way. Okay, and the second one that I wanted to talk about is mindfulness and meditation. So you all know that I always talk about meditating and how important it is, but incorporate mindfulness meditation into your daily routine to cultivate present moment awareness and reduce anxious thoughts. Okay, so what we're going to do is that monkey mind it makes it and makes it become more present. Now, you all might uh, think about this a lot or hear this a lot, like mindful meditation. What does that mean, mindful? So the difference from just saying, I'm going to meditate, meditating is just sitting there, mm, and, but your mind, but mindfulness is you're sitting there and you're making an intention. You're like, I'm going to release this. I'm not going to hold on to this. And a lot of times what I find with my clients is when they first start meditating, they start feeling the anxiousness even more, okay? And the reason that is is because you, this is the first time that you're allowing yourself to be quiet, okay? But there's healing in quietness and in stillness, okay? So this is really important. All right, the third component of overcoming anxiety is regular exercise. So just getting out there, whether it's literally just walking the beach. It doesn't even have to be really hardcore in the gym. I mean, I know you all know that I'm a huge gym girl, but it doesn't even have to be that. It's just getting out into nature. But if you can't get outside, really just putting some music on and dancing or just even stretching really just opening up your body and just feeling it all, okay? I do goddess yoga on Tuesdays, and then I do hot yoga on uh, Thursdays, and then I'm usually in the gym throughout the week as well. And I am telling you, not only is it spiritual, but it really is so good to get your body moving and opening and really the clarity of mind and centering and grounding yourself. That 
I feel like it's such a simple component, but think about it. When you just have those breathing techniques, okay, and then you're getting your exercise in, and then you have like that meditation, so powerful, all right? You're already, you're already so far ahead, okay, of what your day is going to unfold and be. And I wanted to say this too. This has just really been something really huge on my heart, um, especially, you know, over this past month is... If you're like me, which most most of my followers are like in alignment with who I am as a person, like you're spiritual, but you're also a worker and you're out there. Listen, this is to all my really hard workers out there. Okay, I want to I want to talk to you. You are doing amazing. I see you. You are seen. Okay, and you might be in that space where you feel like you're working so hard and you're on this mendacious circle and you're just not seeing the results. That is why these techniques that I'm giving you not only is great for overcoming worry and anxiety, but also to really get you laser focused on that path so that you're not using all this effortless energy that's not going anywhere. And then you're in the same uh, place financially, mentally, emotionally, spiritually when you're trying to pull out of that, but yet you are actually working and going and going and going. And a lot of times, you know, we don't validate the fact that um, how important it is to really find a place of silence and really go into yourself and be like, what do I really want? What are my goals and my dreams? What are my aspirations? A lot of times our anxiety is coming upon us because the spirit realm, God, is trying to speak to us and we're, we keep trying to push it away and we get so involved in busyness because we don't really want to grab a hold of our calling because we feel so comfortable in our weariness because that's all we've ever known, okay? And though that might seem like a weird mindset, there's comfort in a place, even if it's toxic, just because it's familiar. So that's why when it talks, when we talk a lot about going out of your comfort zone, that is what we're talking about because you are worth the very best. And we're not just meant to be on this earth just to survive, just to make it through. Okay. We're here to thrive and really enjoy it and grab a hold of it. Okay. Love it. And now that it's spring and we're almost into summer, no excuses. All right. We got this together. All right, um, healthy lifestyle choices. So um, maintain a balanced diet. Okay, you all know that I'm really into nutrition as a holistic nutritionist, right? Um, and challenge negative thoughts. So when you have those negative thoughts come in, really challenge them. Like, is this really serving me? Is this really what's going on? Um, and also too, it's like you can, I, I hear this all the time too. I believe Tony Robbins came up with this, uh, this saying, you can either have a relationship or you can be right. Okay. And there's a balance in that thought pattern because in my mind, I'm like, well, why would you have a relationship? But you know, but you can't speak your mind and you can't be vulnerable. Like that doesn't make any sense either. But then if you look deeper into what that concept means, you can either have a relationship or be right. Yeah, a lot of it's about the ego. So I'm one who really, I love a connection. I love people, um, but I also love communication and having healthy communication skills is really important to me. And it should be for you and everyone, okay? Listening is something that I'm always trying to work on, on myself, because me just being hyper-aggressive, I can always just kind of like, ah, launch into it. So I'm very well aware of the things I need to work on, but also, too, looking at a situation and being like, am I coming this from to this from ego because I feel like I want to be right, or really is my heart in a place of love? So that's a good way for you, too, when you're thinking about different uh scenarios that you're dealing with that make you anxious or worried, is that really worth it? Or are you standing firm on the way you feel about something because it's really important to you? Or is it is it just like your ego being like, I just want to be right, okay? So we're going to close with these last couple, setting real realistic goals, okay? Establishing a healthy, healthy boundaries. You all know how I feel about boundaries. Um, and seeking social support, right? Even if it's something online like this and consider even professional help if you've gotten to a whole nother level, okay? That is really important. You all, if this has really helped you, go ahead and get in touch with me. I have tons of different coaching programs and also we have our goddess retreat coming up. And I just have to say, what a beautiful, beautiful life.
Y'all are amazing.